in today's video we're going to be making a wall calendar um so we'll start by setting up the document i'm going to go eight by eight and a half by eight and a half inches you feel free to go however size you like um we'll change this to cmyk for colored print because we are going to be printing in color you can do it in black and white if you want but i think color looks better for this sort of thing margins i want 0.375 all the way around normally the inner margin is slightly thicker than the others because of the spine but i want it all to be um you know nice and square and for the bleed 0.125 all the way around and we'll create that um just a little warning i do have a cold still i'm getting over it but um yeah there might be some unpleasant coughs and sniffs and things like that so i do apologize but you know i'll try and edit them out um if i can be bothered so this is the master page as you can see there's a a border around the outside of the document itself that's for the bleed any images you put on should come to the bleed so there's no white like there's no trimming errors basically if you want the image to extend all the way around the page make sure you extend to the bleed so you know what wall planners are wall calendars one side is generally a picture the other side is the actual calendar itself and instead of opening left to right it opens up and down like a flip book but because it's kdp we've got to design the book as if it's a normal book um but in a way that it can be um you know hung as a wall calendar so first of all i'm going to i'll insert a picture frame here this left hand side is going to be where my uh images are now because we're going to wrote the book's going to be actually rotated when people get it we need to rotate the images so they all sit nicely and to do that just rotate anti-clockwise you'll notice it's knocked out the position in a little bit so i'll correct that so that's that for one side the more complex side is going to be the actual calendar itself i'm going to create a table seven by seven and i'll drag that down the bottom across the top this is going to be the headings across there and then the rest of these are going to be where the actual numbers of the day sit uh, i will just take this opportunity to make sure the text is aligned correctly so this top row doesn't need to be as big so i'll change that 2.5 of an inch and then i'll drag this down there you go and then add the days i like to go sunday through to saturday but you can go however you please now because we are using color feel free to change the color of the fonts and the style i like to sometimes change the weekend to red oops um um just to make it stand out you can change these to blue green yellow whatever and again i don't want it to be oriented this way we have to flip it again by clicking the rotate button i also need to make a text box here that's going to have the month and the year in so just shrink your table down a bit so i'll draw that text box now And 
again format your text box um, I should just want a black so that'll do um, and size 50 again that needs flipping so everything runs the right way and extend it out to however big you want it and that's it for the for the basic bones of the calendar that's all you need you want a calendar you've got a place for your pictures now you just need to go into the the document and start filling in the bits i'll clear the master from page one because it's going to be a title page and i'll add more pages here so because 12 months double page spread i've already got a page there i need to add 23 more and that's your basic calendar now it's time to populate these there are a couple of ways to populate these squares with numbers the first is just to type the number in and do that all the way through um, the second is to use data merge no matter which way you use it's going to involve typing a lot of numbers out um, so the, the both equally is good the advantage of advantage of data merge is that you can then use that data file to merge with any other wall calendars you might want to make this text box is for typing in the month and the year again change this to any font any color you want and do the same here you know, feb 2022 um all the way through at the end of the year and then fill your numbers in with the data merge option You've still got to do these headers, but it is slightly different. So th there's absolutely no harm in, in going through everything and, and typing it all in like this, going through each month. Um, now it, it's one way, one way to do it. It's perfectly fine. The way I'm going to do it is to do a merge though. So I'll delete these pages. So at data merge, as I've said before, you need the Excel file, which you are going to merge with. This is mine called wall calendar. The date is just a guide or a reference for me. The date is the actual numbers that are going to be populated into the boxes. You'll notice there are some blank spaces there. Uh, that is because each square on here, whether it's blank or not, will have a cell assigned to it. So you've got to you've got to factor that in when you do it. Otherwise, everything will be shunted and it'll all be off. Um, so to do this, it it was a bit of trial and error. I worked it out as best I could, and then I mail merged or data merged, and things went wrong. You would see that sometimes that the month would appear here fine, and then see that would be the thirty first of the month. New month would occur, and it would start directly underneath it which isn't what you want um so don't be afraid if you make a mistake with the merge because it merges to a new document just shut that document down make your edits in excel and then uh update the the merge and then do it try it again it took me about four attempts to get it right um so first thing we need to do is to set up the merge layout which is there and i'm just going to drag it over all of the squares the table that i'm planning on using and you need to edit your rows and columns so just add more this is going to be seven by six for me yours might be different although probably not so now each square has its own data merge section into which we can put the data field and then that'll merge i make it sound more complicated than it is next thing to do is to set up the data merge document itself so we select wall calendar this is all of the details if you make any changes in excel click update uh, and it'll update it it'll be fine we're just going to change the paint range from two uh, 
from all pages to two to three. If we did all pages, it would just constantly repeat these three pages until the data ran out. Um, whereas I just want to repeat on t page two and page three because that is the title page. Close that down for now. We need to set the um, record order just to make sure each cell goes in the right place. So at the minute, it's going to start populating from Saturday and work left to right, which would be fine if we were doing a calendar that was open up like a book, but we're not. We need to start Sunday and work its way to Mon uh, Sunday to Saturday and then back to Sunday. So there are a couple of options up here and mess about with. This is almost right, but not quite. So flip that vertically. So now you can see it's first one Sunday, all the way through to Saturday, then back to the Sunday. So that's fine there. Um, now I need to show the fields which I'm going to be putting. So these these are the fields from the data merge file. Day remember was just a reference for me. It's date that we want to populate into these squares. To do that, I need a text box. Again, you can change the font and the size and the color. I'm just sticking with um, what it is, 12, size 12, Arial and black. And then double click date. Now you can't see the word date in there yet, but you will once I drag it into the, uh, the merge field. There you go. And that's that. Take a bit of time to line it up if you want. I'm reasonably happy with that, so I'll leave it. And that's that's the meat of the the merge document done. I've just got to merge it now. Again, document data merge. This time we're gonna generate and it'll generate the merge into a new file. So if you made any mistakes, shut it down and uh, sort it out. So this is it. January, February, March, April, May. Obviously the headings still need to go in there. But you can do that's fine. Again, all the way through to December. And then the fun thing is adding the images. So obviously the master page has the, the placeholder frame. So we can't muck about with the size uh, in the document because it's set in the master page, but we'll just select it. Add picture. I'm going to use some garden patterns and I'll just slam that in there. There we go. Because we've already rotated the image in the master, it's already the right way around. <clears throat> um, and again, you just do that for everything else. Every other page, image, and that's it. Obviously, this image can be anything. Tie it to your niche, obviously. That should go without saying. And then use the rest of the white space to, to make, you, make it a bit even more you know, niche-y. This title page is perfect for adding... Um, let's add another image there. I'll just put... I want to... Again, it could be anything. Um, and again, it needs to be rotated because this this page is going to be the uh, same as, as the other pages, orientated that way. And then we'll draw a box. And um, we'll write some text in it. We shall write um, my garden 
Full calendar. 2022. Obviously, mess about with the colours and the font. That also needs rotating. So when you export this file, it'll be sideways, as you would imagine. When you upload it, you know, it's, again, it's going to look sideways, but it's fine. Because the book's going to be fully rotated and used as a flip. Um, there are other things you can do. You could add images to the master page, as I've showed you in the line journals we've been making. Add an image to this. It'll copy through the rest of the document. You could add plants in some of the squares. Be aware that obviously the numbers are going to be in the squares as well. So try not to impede them. You can... Uh, another thing, actually, if you, if you weren't going to use data merge, you could have... And you were just going to input the numbers individually. Each month could have its own sort of number font. If you're that way inclined. Um... So you could add little images to the master page, have it all the way through the book, or you could add images to each individual month, and then it would just be on that page. You could have a page at the end. Um, so do yourself another double page, two pages with no master. And then on this page, you could have, obviously don't use page 26, because it'll be the backside of 25. Page 27, you could have little clip art images of things like plants. Um, you could have images of holidays, so a picture of the sun, sun lounges, deck chairs, uh, a cruise ship, and encourage people to cut them out and stick them on the planner themselves, the wall calendar, when they have the holiday. Um, so they can mark it on the calendar in a fun way like that. Now, the reason I made this calendar is because someone asked me in the comments of a previous video to make a calendar with a colouring book thought, sort of theme and the way you do that is just instead of putting your coloured image there put a black and white colouring image on it instead if it is black and white you save money in the printing cost so you can make it a bit l lower cost to buy but remember you can't have any colour here or on the on the page you can make your front cover as colorful as you like of course um now there are a couple of limitations with this method of making wall calendars in uh, 4kdp firstly there's no hole in the page where you can't hang your calendar in the traditional way that's not a problem because you can just use a pin you know and, and pin up each month as it happens it might be worth putting that sort of thing in the description though so there's no hole so it needs to be pinned up or you know taped up there, there are ways around it but i think buyers need to be made aware and obviously with it not being spiral bound it's not even like a staple bound is it it's it's glue so it's not really designed to be it's designed to be a book rather than something that you'd leave open all the time that shouldn't be a problem for, for something this small because it is just what 20 20 or double sided pages which you know equates to, to half that of actual sheets so it's not gonna be very thick so it should open fine it might stress and weaken the spine um but it, you know it, it should do the job um so yeah so yeah, it's important to be aware of the limitations just because you know people will will complain about it so we'll add some embellishments to this um, just to show you what can be done. Uh, cactus is pretty planty, so that'll do for me. I'll just drag it on there. Again, remember it needs to be rotated. So shrink that down. You've got a cactus. And that only will affect January. So you can, you can personalise them as much as you want. Uh, again, because it's colour and because we're using bleed, you could have another image behind the calendar itself 
it would show up as a frame sort of thing you'd have to square off all of this um, let's change that to white and then we could add in um, I'll add another seamless pattern there I'll just pull this one on as a demonstration oops again it needs you I'll just shrink it down a smidge more needs to be rotated then it needs to be put underneath the square so there you go because it's um, underneath the white square it comes up on the background looks like a nice little frame but you can still perfectly read the um, calendar if you wanted to you would lower the opacity of the rectangle so you can still see part of the image beneath it but I like it better clean and that is it hopefully you found it useful it's just something that um, you know, I don't know whether many people are making wall calendars with KDP it's something that you can do it's easy there are some reasons why you shouldn't which I've mentioned um, you know there is a chance the spine is a bit weak to handle being constantly open um, but it's it's just another a fun little thing and, and you can niche it down as much as you want you can using the data merge technique you just have this skeleton thing here save that and then uh you can, you can change it to cat planner for black cats niche it down further um for any sort of sport anything you know i'm not gonna tell you to do niche research that's for a different video um but it's a really customizable format to get into i've never i've never done one of these before i just someone asked us and i messed about and this is the best i could do and i think it's worked pretty well so i may make some and um you know list them january is a time when cal calendars sell <coughs> excuse me i'll have to have a uh, a lem sip or something um yeah cal january is a time when calendars sell so don't be afraid to make them and put them up in january people will buy them um the same with planners and diaries again make sure you've got your image uh all the way to the bleed which i haven't there but you know, do do that um yep customizable as much as you want make it as colorful as you like or turn this into a coloring image it may be activity planner whatever a good idea for garden which i've just thought of is to have um like jobs you do in the garden in january obviously it'll change it in your location in the northeast of england there's not a load to do in january i'll just mess about with my compost pile um but it's a, that's an idea just to make it a bit more you know uh, valuable you could even have this as a, as a list of jobs as well things to do in the garden in january and have a list of jobs there you could also use this for photographs that you've taken if you're a good wildlife photographer or you know you like um taking pictures of planes you can you can put that in your image file there and it'll work a treat so that's it for today's video thank you for watching um please do like comment and subscribe if this has helped you even if it hasn't the subscriptions really do help me to be seen I am getting a few more subscribers now. Um, so, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, and have fun creating it. This is... Uh, I, I had a lot of fun making it. I didn't have a lot of fun making the video. This is about my ninth attempt. Um, I've had coffin fits. I've made mistakes. It's been a nightmare. But hopefully you'll find some use with this. Thanks for watching. And I shall see you again next time.